Good day everyone. My name is Forza Meya. Uh, thank you for watching my video. All right. So before I move on, uh, please don't forget to click subscribe. All right. And if you like the video, please do click like. And uh, if you like the content, please do share the video. All right. So today I'm here to actually comment or give my review, especially on management review on this particular movie called Sura Re Potru. Sura Re Potru is a Tamil movie. It's actually on Amazon Prime. And uh, I just watched it like five days ago, right? So, it's uh, if you want to watch the trailer, it's actually below the link. You can just click the link. There's also a few sneak peek of the uh, movie, all right? So I'm here not to comment on the movie because uh, I'm not a movie producer or movie director, all right? I'm not going to go into technical reality of the movie itself, but I'm here to give what are the management lessons as an entrepreneur that you you should learn based on the movie itself. My first lesson that I would like to share with you from the movie is this guy, Mara, he wants to set up his own low-cost airline company and obviously he faced challenges and first of all, he doesn't even have money. So it's common that when you don't have money, you tend to ask a loan from people and this guy went to his wife and he asked for a loan. He actually went and asked her as a loan. So in business, family is different, business is different, all right? You cannot mix together. So that's why he actually asked for a loan, all right? And uh, in addition, the wife obviously agreed and she even gave more than what the wife, uh, what the husband requested, all right? Apart from that, the wife also had a business mentality because the wife is also owns a bakery or actually three bakery chains, all right? And she said, let me supply my uh, bakery materials or bakery stuff like buns and cakes and puffs to your flight itself and obviously Mara being an entrepreneur he agreed so he had the business de dealing itself so coming to business you must segregate between business and personal or business and family you cannot mix both together the second management lesson that I would like to share with you or I learned from this movie is be patient Right. What the guys did was he actually went to the aviation uh, academy or the aviation officer to actually get approval or the license itself, the aviation license. And that officer who approves the license asked him to come tomorrow. When he went tomorrow, he asked him to come another day. He went another day on the third day. When he went on the third day, he said, let's come on the fourth day. When he went on the fourth day, the personal secretary of the aviation officer said, sorry, he's on leave for the next one week. And obviously, that guy, Mara, was angry, but he controlled his angerness. He could have, he said, why don't you just inform me earlier? And of course, the personal secretary said, who are you uh, for me to inform you, all right? You're not even a big a giant or a big a corporate guy, all right? So, at that moment, he was patient. He didn't get angry. And at the same time, the wife advised, you can get angry, but channel your angerness towards your achievement. Rather than getting angry to people, you can't achieve anything. All right? So channel all your angerness, your frustration towards your achievement. That kind of angerness, the positive angerness can actually make you an achiever and can bring you to pinnacle. And that's what finally he made it. The third lesson I'd like to share with you is never ever give up. First, when he wanted to start the company, he went and explained to his guru itself, the owner of Jay's Airlines, right? He tried to start this airline. One of the richest person or richest business tycoon in India, all right? He tried to dump him down. He never gave him a chance even to speak, all right? So, and he tried to turn down whenever he wanted to fix appointment. So, but nevertheless, this guy Mara, he never gave up, all right? He actually tried different alternatives, different ways for him to achieve his dream. And apart from that, when he tried to get a venture capitalist, he explained his idea and the venture capitalist actually agreed to actually finance or invest in his idea, the company itself. But somehow when time passes, he actually pulled out. It's because the guy who was a business tycoon took over the venture capitalist company. So they actually merged. So in this case, what happened was this guy Mara's dream just got dropped off. 
So, but nevertheless, he still didn't give up. What he did was, he still tried to meet the so-called uh, people around his village. And the village people tried to invest. They made like a crowdfunding, they invested money. All right. So when they invested money, uh, that actually gave him a huge capital. All right. Thereafter, he started the aviation business. All right. And when he wanted to start the aviation business, obviously, he, when the aviation officer didn't approve or reluctant to approve uh, to sign off, when he, the aviation officer was reluctant to sign off, what he did was Mara went and met the president of India itself and get the recommendation letter. With his recommendation letter, obviously the aviation officer had to agree to sign on the aviation license approval. Right? And apart from that, once even he started his business, there was a technical glitch that made his first flight to be actually uh, stopped, not to fly, right, to be cancelled. It's because uh, whoever actually applied the ticket via online, there was a technical glitch which didn't get through. Right? There were thousands of them applied. So unfortunately, when he wanted to board the first time the flight, there were no passengers except for his wife. Right? But nevertheless, he still moved on. And when he launched the flight together with the transport minister, what happened was the flight had to do emergency landing. All right? It's all because the pilot was actually influenced by the other competitors uh, not to perform the technical checks before flying or prior to flying, uh, flying itself. Okay, when people are shouting the pilot to land, do the emergency landing, the pilot was reluctant and obviously Mara had to step in and uh, be the emergency pilot and had to do the emergency landing. Right. So, uh, what I'm saying here is despite challenges that he faced, he still moved on. And uh, end of the day, he still managed to fly and uh, achieve his dream. Right? Uh, uh, create his company, uh, fly his first flight low-cost airline in India and uh, managed to achieve his dream. My next uh, management lesson that I learned is never ever sell your dream or give up on your dream. All right? Because when he started the company, when the company was doing well, Right, when there were a lot of flights going, there were competitors who were trying to take over his company. And the competitor's aim was to actually make from low-cost airline to a luxury airline. And this guy's dream was to make things, everyone to fly. It means even the low-class uh, people or middle-class uh, earners or low-class earners to also fly, not only the high-end earners. Right? So his aim is to make sure everyone could fly and that was his aim. So uh, even people from village could fly. That was his tagline. Even a village guy could fly in a flight or, a, or in an aeroplane. That, that was his aim. And uh, let me serve a quality food at a low cost price. And uh, that's what he made. Right? So he never sell his dream. Okay? He, he never give up. He still moved on with his dream. He was still focused. Okay, he, he got never distracted. Even his friends told, just get the millions or trillions from that particular business owner and uh, just move on, okay, sell that business. Okay, but he was not money-minded, he was dream-minded. Okay, so he never sell all his dreams. People who are money-minded will sell their dreams or whatever they have for money or for finance. But this guy was dream-minded. So long you have a strong dream, you're focused, you will definitely achieve it one day. My final uh, lesson to you is so long you have the integrity, you work with the honesty, all right? you are true to yourself, you are true to the business, you are true to the people, and regardless of whatever challenges that people give you or surrounding give you, the universe will help you, the surrounding people will help you. Just an example from this movie, during one of the flight scenes that he wanted to meet one of these uh, Jay's uh, airline owner, there was also this uh, news uh, reporter or news uh, article reader okay so uh, this news uh, reporter actually assisted him to actually go and meet the president of india all right so that was one of the good thing that she did or she assisted her all right so that's one of the thing that uh, if you have a good dream you know honest dream people will help you and then second situation is where when his flight was in a threat that people will attack his flight, people will sabotage the aeroplanes, right? So what happened was, because he was in Air Force, he actually resigned from his Air Force, and uh, his previous superior, right, the, the captain, okay, the general of the Air Force itself, 
came with his team to guard the aeroplane. Okay, so he said, when the duty is needed, our service will be there. All right. So that's what he said. So the thing is that even he's your previous superior. All right. He didn't say you resign from my company or you resign from my organization. I will not help you at all. Right. He came back. So because he saw the honesty and the integrity in Mara itself. And apart from that, when Mara was struggling for actually financial assistance, no company wanted to invest in his idea. All right. His village people came and assist him right from small amount uh, from a school child okay till an old man all right from different ages uh, they even uh, either they uh, mortgage mortgaged their land or some they actually uh, mortgage their houses okay and they sell some of their uh, belongings okay uh, they took their savings and all invested so it was all people's investment and this mara didn't want to abolish or uh, diminish their dreams they want to make the dream come life right because all the villagers say please bring me on the flight one day please that's my dream before even i die at least i want to fly one day in the aeroplane right so he made that dream happen so people will help definitely people will come whenever you are honest your dream uh, people will happen uh, people will come to help you right and the next uh, uh, universe help was his friends okay his colleagues who were in the air force they took quick two of them and one of them were pilot okay so the other one was a good in programming so he created the system uh, in online e ticketing system and stuff so he brought in the ideas and the other guy was the pilot okay so and this guy was the main brain who made the thing happen okay so three of them collaborated so even the friends regardless of any uh, finance uh, financial challenges they faced okay they quit because they saw the honesty and the integrity in his dream okay so they have they stay together until the end okay they didn't break up okay they didn't go away they still stayed okay so the thing is that so long your your dream is true your dream is honest you work honestly you don't backstab anyone all right uh, you can ask help but don't backstab or don't talk bad on people all right you get assistance people will definitely come and assist you all right it may take time but people will definitely still come and assist you so these are my uh, five uh, management lessons that I learned, okay, or tips that I learned from this movie itself, right? So for those who haven't watched the movie, if you have uh, Amazon Prime, uh, do subscribe to Amazon Prime and uh, you can watch the movie itself, right? So till then, I shall see you in my next video. So before I move on, please click subscribe, all right? I'd like to see more subscribers, uh, more people to see my video and learn from my videos, all right? With that, thank you. Take care. I shall catch up with you in my next video. Okay.